pickled courgettes or pickled zucchini right uh, around about this time of year you're going to have uh, a surplus especially in the good weather we've had at the moment uh, you're going to probably have a surplus of zucchini so you want to find ways of preserving them and one of the nicest ways I know of preserving them is to pickle them and uh, I'm going to show you how I do that and first of all you need uh, all your vegetables peeled and washed and topped and tailed which I'll do now I apologize for the lack of soundtrack on this but I um, I forgot to switch the right button so uh, I'm first going to introduce you to my tools I've got a serrated cutter which I use to cut the zucchini and this creates a lot of surface area on the zucchini and it also prevents them from sticking together uh, as they're actually pickling for this amount of zucchini I've got about half an onion uh, but you can decide how much you want to use and for each zucchini squash that I use I generally use one cut garlic clove um, so what I've done is I've uh, cut those up and I've slit those lengthwise I have uh, two dried red chilies but you can use fresh if you like in addition to that I have some white wine vinegar I have some uh, dill which is dried you can use a sprig of fresh instead I have some thyme which is very important that works with the garlic and it makes a fantastic flavor for these zucchini pickles the salt I'm using is corning salt um, but you can use kosher salt you can use sea salt <clears throat> the jars I'm using are ordinary pickle jars which I've uh, kept sterile and uh, you'll see them soaking here in a mixture of um, water and sodium bicarbonate bicarbonate soda or baking soda as you may know it now this is a recipe that works uh, for however whatever amount of uh, zucchini you have so then you just increase the ingredients accordingly and again that will probably be limited by the amount of pickling jars you have the other thing you'll need is a, a, pick, um, a pickling or a preserving pot pan and some sugar the uh, sugar will add a nice sweetness to these pickles the preserving pan I'm using is a stainless steel saucepan really simple You'll also need a measuring jug. Now the measuring jug is how we work out the amount of brine, pickling brine for this recipe. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use the serrated cutter to cut these into 10 centimeter or one third of an inch slices you don't want them too thin because courgettes don't quite have the consistency of cucumber and they may disintegrate if they're left too thin so about one third of an inch 10 millimeter slices Also, as I'm cutting, you'll notice I rotate the zucchini slightly, so you've got offset um, serrations on the zucchini. So I just rotate after a cut, cut, rotate, cut, rotate, something like that. And I carry on until all my zucchini are ready. right the next thing we need to do is rinse out our sodium bicarbonate solution which it also helps to keep it sterile and it takes away any nasty t tainted flavors 
give that a good old rinse and then I proceed to stuff each jar with my zucchini and other fresh ingredients so the onion zucchini the garlic they all go in and you cram that in pretty tight you want it in pretty tight and it doesn't matter if you slightly over because you'll get some shrinkage as it cooks in the brine give it a good old push make sure it's all in there and we're really doing this just to measure so the next thing we do is rinse the next one give it a good old rinse and stuff that and you carry on until all your wet ingredients are filled and have filled all your jars there I've just got a little bit too much to put in for now and then what you do is you top that up with water now I'm using filtered water for this I'm not using tap water don't use tap water for this because it's um, it, it has chlorine in it and that will give you off flavors nice shot of my ear hole there for you so you top it right up to the brim and that gives you the the total measure of pickling brine you will need and then you strain that out and the next one and you carry on until all your jars are strained out and then you have the total amount of pickling brine you will need now just reading on the side of that it reads at 16 fluid ounces which is an American pint a British pint is 20 fluid ounces but this one comes to 16 fluid ounces or around about 500 milliliters so as not to make the pickling brine too strong what we do is we dilute it with water so what I'm going to do now is tip out half of that measure of water and replace it with vinegar so I tip out in this case 250 mils of water it's not an exact science as long as you get it roughly half then I take my vinegar and I top it up to the 16 ounce or 500 mil line so you've got a nice dilute solution of vinegar you don't want it too strong for this British pickles tend to be very strong flavored vinegar flavored whereas um, uh, most uh, European and Eastern European pickles are sweeter and lighter the next thing we do now is empty all the ingredients wet ingredients from the jars into our preserving pan any leftover bits can go in now and now we add the dry ingredients to the jars I've put the smaller piece of chili in the smaller jar and the larger one in the large jar so the next thing I want to add is time and I want about I'm measuring I'm just eyeballing it but it's about a teaspoon for the large jar and about half of that measure for the small jar if you're using fresh thyme you want to use one or two sprigs two sprigs for the big one and one sprig for the little one in this case thyme is a very important ingredient in this and dill dill is excellent with all sorts of pickles it's particularly good with cucumbers and it works really well also with courgettes 
and it adds a beautiful aroma and a delicate flavour. You also want to go in with a bit of salt. So it's about a teaspoon of salt for the big jar and about half that measure for the small jar. Salt acts to bring out the flavour of the courgettes or the zucchini. And put in, I'm, I'm not terribly sweet toothed, uh, but you can add about a tablespoon of sugar to the large jar and about half of that to the small jar. At this stage you can pour the pickling brine onto the wet ingredients in the preserving pot and bring that up to a boil. You bring it up to a boil and we want to simmer that for between three to five minutes. The purpose of this is not to cook the, the zucchini, it's just to get them sterile and to leave some crunch in them. There are some additional spices I now like to add to the pickling jars. So I have some whole coriander seeds, I have some ajwan seeds, you can leave these out but you don't want to leave out ajwan seeds if you're doing anything with carrot uh, or any other taproot because ajwan seeds are wonderful with any kind of taproot. I like to add them to this. So I'm putting about a teaspoon of whole black peppercorns into each jar, uh, slightly less in the smaller jar of course, and about the same amount of whole coriander seeds in each. I love the ajwain, it's one of my favourite spices. It's actually the seed of a rather primitive carrot, which is why it tends to go very well with any kind of taproot. Right, that's my dry spices ready in the jar. Now I'm just waiting for the brine to come up to the boil and to simmer. Okay, while that's coming to the boil, one other ingredient you can add is turmeric to this. Um, I do like turmeric, so I think I'm going to add it to this to this one. And the best place to add the turmeric is is actually into the pickling brine. And you don't want an awful lot, but about about a teaspoon of turmeric for this amount. And it just adds a mild flavour and a really attractive colour to these pickles. So that's an optional one, but it is rather nice. So I'm still waiting for that to come up to the boil. And I'll get back to you as soon as that's ready. So my pickles have been brought to the boil and they've simmered for around about three minutes. I'm quite happy with that, so I'm gonna turn that off. Uh, the process is not designed to cook the zucchini at this stage. We don't want them cooked. We want them to cook as they pickle effectively. So uh, if you cook them for too much at this stage, they will break up and they won't be, uh, the texture won't be quite as good in the finished item. So what I'm gonna do now is wait until the temperature of that cools down to bottling temperature. Okay, that's now cooled down to 80 degrees Celsius, which is the bottling temperature I want. And what I'm now going to do is just spoon those into the jar. making sure to cram them right down. Once they're cooked a little bit, they actually do relax, so you can estimate slightly more than you need because they will generally fall into the jar. And 
Let's get that in there. There's nothing better than sitting on a cold winter's evening and eating a little bit of summer sun. Oh, lost a bit of onion there. I think we'll say that's the angel's share, shall we? And then what I want to do now is tip that into the jars. So I'm going to do that by first putting it into here because it'll be easier to pour. There we go. And then we introduce that to the jars. And top it up. Let's just make sure we got enough for each. If you're a little shy, i.e. you've let it boil a bit too long, and you're a little shy on the liquid, you can top it up with a little bit of water. It won't make a lot of difference. And you'll see some of the spice have begun to float to the top. Right, the next stage is getting the lids on while it's still hot because putting the lids on while it's still hot, as it cools down, it'll help to form a seal on the lid. Or you use your best mason jars, one of the two. And just make sure there's nothing, no particulate matter around the rim of the lid before you put the lid on and seal it quickly. So there you have it. What I want to do now is just invert that, give it a shake, get all those lovely spices mixed up, invert that, give it a shake, and on these lids, on most jar lids these days, you get that popper on top. As that cools, uh, it, it will shrink inside, creating a par partial vacuum inside the jar and then pulling that down. Okay, uh, once it's down and sealed, then you know you're safe and that will keep in uh, more or less indefinitely. But um, I tend to consume these fairly quickly because they are really delicious. And um, I find that I use them up fairly soon. Right, these will be ready. Uh, the smaller jars will probably be ready within um, about a week. Uh, but they actually get better once they're over a month old. And you'll probably be able to keep them up to a year, maybe longer. Um, but once that jar is sealed, they are effectively uh, a pickle, so they'll keep as long as any pickle. So there you have it, um, pickled zucchini. Let's get you close up on that. Once you have them in um, the jars and once they're sealed, uh, store them away in a cool, dark place. You don't want sunlight working on them and destroying the lovely colour that you have here. So uh, open the jars to give yourself a little bit of summer sunshine uh, when the cold weather starts to arrive. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you would like to follow my channel, please subscribe and be sure to click the bell icon to receive notification of all my upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.